I saw the letter yesterday to my two kids from Lock from Lock and Advice Centre. Then that they stop my vision. My vision is tomorrow. It's fantastic because. Uh, you know, Guinness said they, they have no legal obligation to any of these tenants. They said they've done over and above what they legally have to do. Aranola was told she had no basis in which to challenge the eviction on Thursday, um, but they've withdrawn it. And the only reason for withdrawing the bailiffs is because we said we weren't going to let it happen. We were going to be here in numbers. We were going to refuse to move. And, you know, she's so brave to take that stand and to stand up to them. And they've just crumbled, and it's brilliant. They told us that we are short of tenancy. Before, they promised us that they are going to give us an, a new building. My brother is disabled, living with me. I'm the one with Kara looking after him. I can't sleep for the past two weeks because I, I didn't see any letter, possession letter. I didn't see any letter. I just saw the edition letter. we a bit relieved, and we hope for the best. We hope Guinness people will have a change of heart and they negotiate with us in a positive way. Instead of sending people to Kent, we want a flat here. Guinness is running scared! running scared! Now the word will go out. They, they're afraid to send bailiffs, so nobody's going to move. What we need to do is we need to get them to transfer people onto secure tenancies now. That's the only way people are going to feel fully safe, that there's no more um, evictions hanging over them or that they'll have somewhere to go when, um, when they are moved out of these blocks. So we want to hear from Guinness. That's the next thing we want to hear from them.